that's where these cells come into play. They're, they're taking histamine around your body. Phallus. So it's a grouping or a nationalization of, of bacteria, fungus, um, and their acidic wastes, as well as some crystallized acid. Because acidity is, is a, in a liquid form in your body, and your body knows that the liquid form is more damaging than a solid form. So it uses minerals and fats to bind with the liquid acidity to create a crystal, kind of as a protective mechanism. So that's kind of what we're seeing here, a solidified form of bacteria, according to Dr. Young, solidified form of bacteria and fungus and, and crystallized acid, okay? And this can be related to excessive consumption of starchy carbohydrates, junk foods, things like, um, you know, artificial sweeteners that the body doesn't know how to recognize, like aspartame, medications, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Rice is, um, white rice isn't, isn't great for you. You'd be better off sticking to like, um, you know, brown rice or jasmine, but even better, the best choice would be to move to what we call pseudo grains, which are things like buckwheat, uh, quinoa, mm -hmm. wild rice, um, amaranth, and those, mm -hmm. because they're seeds, they're more like a seed than a grain, mm -hmm. and they have a lot more chlorophyll, a lot more alkaline minerals in them, uh, therefore they're more alkaline forming to the body, much easier for you to digest. And so in my house, instead of doing rice, we use, like, if my wife uh, makes something that, that's good with rice, she'll make buckwheat. And buckwheat is larger, you know, and then quinoa is similar, and it's much smaller grain, so it's a little bit more like a couscous, you know. So we kind of use those interchange, interchanging different, different recipes. So that's definitely the best choice. If you're going to eat rice, try to do brown rice or anything that's not been processed and bleached, you know. And then just don't do it in excess. That's all. For somebody like you that doesn't have, that I don't believe has any, I don't know anything about you, so we're letting the blood speak for itself. So I believe you don't have any major diagnoses. If you don't have anything like that going on, then um, it's okay for you to eat some things like that. You know, I love some chocolate from time to time myself. I'm a Reese's cup fiend. Mm. Right? Don't mm -hmm. tell Dr. Young, uh oh, I'm on video. <laughs> 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 but I don't eat them all the time. It's an ever once in a while thing. And to me, this science, Dr. Young's work, to me, is all about health freedom. Mm -hmm. So what health freedom means to me is it's knowing how to clean up any mess you make before it becomes a major imbalance, which gives you the freedom to make a mess in the first place, which is a very important part of being a human being because we learn from our experience, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If we happen to go too far and make a really big mess, it's knowing how to re reverse that mess without doing further harm by working with the body's natural healing abilities. Mm -hmm. It's knowing the difference between emergency medical and true health care, and when and where and how to use the two appropriately. And it's being able to create a vital life experience for yourself without going to unnecessary and inappropriate extremes. And that's important, unnecessary and inappropriate. You know, somebody that's gotten themselves way out of balance, it's, it's necessary and appropriate for them to go to the extreme, maybe for a period of time, maybe forever. You know, for others, you know, they might be able to walk more of the middle road.